Welcome to the land of luxury and glamour, Monaco. A tiny yet captivating city-state surrounded by the shimmering Mediterranean Sea. Monaco is a place where dreams come to life and memories are made. With its stunning natural beauty, world-renowned attractions, and endless opportunities for adventure, it's no wonder why this tiny principality attracts millions of visitors each year. From the iconic Monte Carlo Casino to the breathtaking Prince's Palace, there's so much to see and experience in this magnificent destination. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 best places you must see in Monaco. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, these must-see spots are sure to leave a lasting impression and provide you with an unforgettable experience. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be transported to a world of luxury and beauty. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Fort de Fontville the wealthy and famous are the only people who can afford the hundreds of dollars per day that it costs to berth their boats and yachts in the Port de Fontville port. As a result, the Port de Fontville is truly a playground for the wealthy and famous. The marina can accommodate yachts of varying sizes and can accommodate a total of 275 boats. It also provides all the amenities that sailors may want. Before the last 50 years, the Port de Fontville was nothing more than a small sandy cove surrounded by rocks. There are streets and buildings right up to the water's edge in the area that is bordered by the marina in the center of Fontville. From the Rock of Monaco, you may get breathtaking views of this incredibly picturesque marina. Number 9. The Cathedral The Roman architecture cathedral where all the princes of Monaco are buried, was built with beautiful white stones quarried in nearby La Turbie. Prince Rainier and Princess Grace both have tombs that can be visited, a 16th century altarpiece by Louis Brededing and a white marble episcopal throne by Carrar can be found in this late 19th century structure's treasury. Don't miss the chance to see the magnificent organ, which is played at concerts and religious services on a regular basis. Sunday masses are sung by the cathedral choir and the Les Petites Chanteurs de Monaco from September through June. Number 8. Jardin Exotique The Jardin Exotique is a botanical garden located near Fontvielle, a short distance from the city itself. You'll find rich vegetation and breathtaking views at this garden, which is perched on a bluff overlooking the water. As a result of the mild climate, the garden has been home to a wide variety of exotic plants from all over the world since its opening in 1933, including those that are native to Africa and Latin America. You can see over 7,000 different plant species, and there's a cave full of stalactites and stalagmites called the Observatory. Number 7. Oceanographic Museum a trip to the Oceanographic Museum, which is focused on marine research, may be enjoyable for people who are enthusiastic about marine life in general. This edifice, which features Baroque revival architecture, looks out over the Mediterranean. It was established in 1910, and the well-known oceanographer Jacques Yves Cousteau served as its director for a period of 30 years. It is home to specimens of marine life, including sharks, turtles, and shellfish, in addition to model ships and the skeletons of various sea animals. There are 4,000 different types of fish living in the aquarium that is located in the basement. The aquarium incorporates habitats from both the Mediterranean Sea and tropical waters. Number 6. Monaco Grand Prix Formula One races are held in Monte Carlo on an annual basis in May. These races have made the city famous. The fact that the race goes through the streets of the city, including along Boulevard Albert I and the iconic Monte Carlo Fairmont Hotel, is what makes it such a unique and exciting event. The event has a prestigious place in history and has been held continuously since the beginning of the 20th century. If you are ever in Monaco during the appropriate time frame, it is highly recommended that you go watch it because it is an impressive legacy. Number 5. Monacoville, Les Rochers. A visit to Monacoville commonly known as Les Rochers, or The Rock, allows guests to explore the country's oldest district. The ancient Greeks may have founded the settlement on the rocky outcrop they used as a launching pad for their colonies in the Mediterranean as early as the 6th century BC. Upon founding Monaco in the 13th century, the Grimaldus family chose an exciting citadel as their seat of power. Almost all of Monacoville is made up of pedestrian-only streets and alleys, 
giving it a distinct medieval feel. Some of the city's most well-known attractions, such as the Princess Palace, the Oceanographic Museum, and St. Martin's Gardens may be found here, along with a wide variety of hotels, eateries, and gift stores. Number four, Larvado Beach. Even though it is more pebbly than sandy, Larvado Beach is the most popular beach in Monaco, and it is also the only beach in the Principality. Beachgoers walking along the Mediterranean Sea may want to wear shoes that are durable, Although some guests recommend the beach for families because the water is calmer, parents should be aware that the beach is popular among those who sunbathe without clothes on. Visitors can access certain parts of Monaco's public beach without paying an admission fee, while other parts of the beach require payment. It won't take you more than a few minutes to stroll to the beach from Monte Carlo. The beach is bordered on one side by Avenue Princess Grace. Number 3. Monte Carlo Casino the magnificent Beaux Arts architecture of the Casino de Monte Carlo, completed in 1893, makes it a world famous gambling establishment. When you enter the marble atrium, you'll be greeted with 28 onyx columns, creating a similarly opulent atmosphere as the gaming rooms themselves. The environment is beautiful, and fans of the James Bond novels will recognize it as the location where Casino Royale takes place. While trying your luck in one of the many uniquely themed gaming rooms, be sure to look up and appreciate the ornate chandeliers and paintings adorning the ceiling. Number 2. Monaco Botanical Gardens Regardless of the name you know it by, this landmark deserves to be high on your list of priorities. From the top of the slide, you may access a special display of cacti and succulents. Look at the vista from up there. I think it's important to note that the garden is dedicated primarily to plants with water storing tissues when describing it. They'd been shipped in from all across the globe. The garden is a whopping one hectare in size, and it is home to a wide variety of plants that have been adapted to the local environment. Number one, Prince's Palace of Monaco. Although there are fewer than a thousand people living in the old town or Monaco city, among them is Monaco's most notable citizen, Prince Albert II. With a vantage point out to the southwest, the Prince's Palace is where the monarch and his family call home. It's the focal point of the historic district and all roads converge there. The position of the Prince's Palace, which was constructed as a stronghold in the 13th century, provides some insight into its strategy for warding off invaders. Over the years though, it has been transformed into a lavish home. State apartments are open to the public during the warmer months of the year, so be sure to take advantage of this opportunity to experience the regular splendor of the monarchy. So there you have it, our top 10 picks for the best places to see in Monaco. We hope this video has inspired you to plan your next trip to this magnificent desolation. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite place in Monaco? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to hear what you have to say. Until next time, happy travels!